Hello, hello, hello! You're tuning into the episode of The Wonder Can Show. Today's first topic: <laughs> uh, Brandi, Brandi and Ayuk makes NFL news again today. Look, I'm laughing at this, right? Because remember, we were covering Brandon Ayuk. A couple of the past epi- uh, last episodes, we brought it up like, oh, you know, what if the Ravens get him? What would we give up? Would we give up one of our prized possessions to get him and stuff like that? And per some sources in the NFL right now, NFL rumor, of course, the 49ers' Brandon Ayuk is reportedly in the Buffalo Bills and the Pittsburgh Steelers' sights. I'm going to read that again. He's reportedly in the sights of the Buffalo Bills, which makes sense because they don't have any more about anybody else, but the Pittsburgh Steelers. AFC North, Pittsburgh Steelers. Team has a winning record uh, against us in the last five seasons. Pittsburgh. The team that literally had no offensive output from the quarterback position. Right? And still made the playoffs. That Pittsburgh Steelers. Look, I'm going to be I'm gonna be real with y'all. And, 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 and I'm, and I'm going to say this pretty clear. Why? Why? I remember my homeboy, uh, Skeptigo, said this. There's an entire other place, other divisions. Why are all of these stars trying to come to the AFC North? Like, what is your problem? Don't some of y'all want to go join up uh, 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 Aaron Rodgers, Pat, uh, uh, Patrick Mahomes, uh, 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 Josh Allen, uh, Herbert? Bro, why don't you go to one of their teams? This is very annoying to me. Extremely so. And it's annoying to me for the simple fact of, you know, we want him. We need it. Right? We could use somebody like that. And at this point, it's like, yo... Like I said before, we're going to have to do everything in the draft, and we're going to have to hit on the draft. Oh. So for anybody that's looking at our draft at when it pertains to receivers, since you guys want to count Zay right now as a hit, we've only hit twice in the history of our franchise in the, uh, 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 for wide receivers. Twice. I'm being I'm I'm being very gracious right now with the twice. Look, I um I was going over it and I was looking, I was like, bro, bro, are you serious? There's no way. But yes, wait, that's the rumor going on. <clears throat> this is why I'm trying to get through to so many. Ra- Everyone's oh oh oh. The Ravens were so close last year. They don't have to do nothing stu- uh, 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 different. Hello, if you don't change or move forward, right? Having any progress while those other teams are getting better every day, trying to build themselves up, you'll get left behind. That's how this works. This is why I get so frustrated when I talk to some Raven fans. Like, they don't understand where we're coming from. It's like, it's like stick, in Jamaica we say, stick brooking on them ears. That's what we say. That's what my parents would say. You can't listen? Stick brooking on your ear. <laughs> That's when you know my mom get mad. When my mom get mad, the full Jamaican come out of her. <laughs> Yo, she's like, hello, hello, yes, ma'am. No, ma'am, you get her mad? Stick brooking on your ears. You can't hear? You can't listen? Yo, but no, I'm being real. This is what we've been trying to tell y'all. This is why I don't understand. Like, and even going back to that Mark Andrews situation, nobody wants to see Mark Andrews go. The man had 1,300 yards in, uh, in one of his uh, past seasons. The man's been an all pro. But if another team said, yo, DK Metcalf, 
Mark Andrews. Then you got to go. Especially knowing how good Isaiah likely looked. Isaiah likely didn't just look good. He looked dang near unguardable. There were times in the games where like, yo, just keep give, give likely the ball. Likely looked unguardable going deep. Pause. He looked unguardable uh, um, finding the uh, holes in, uh, what's it called, the zone. And he looked unguardable going one-on-one, -on -one, just a shovel pass, go make a play. Your man versus my man, best man wins. He looked like an ascending talent in that area also. And, this is when I, and that's probably his best attribute. Making people miss. So that's what I'm saying. Like, this is, it's not like context matters. Everyone gets so mad. But like the the the, 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 the object of the game is to win a Super Bowl. We're talking, listen, Lamar has a great tight end in Likely. He's a great tight end in Mark Andrews. But if Mark Andrews can get you a 6-4, 6-3 behemoth, of a man that plays X for the Baltimore Ravens, then that's a sacrifice you got to make because these other teams are not waiting for us. They are not. They're getting better every single day. And we've already had problems with the Pittsburgh Steelers without a quarterback, without another uh, wide receiver like 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 how they're looking at with Brandon Ayuk. And now they're getting those guys. So what are y'all looking at? And our defense is taking what it looked like to be a step back. Defensive coordinator is going to be gone or, or is gone. Multiple pieces on that defense is gone. And y'all sitting there like, oh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, Nitro. Don't worry about it. Ravens forever! <laughs> oh! Ah! Nah, be real. Because it's like, it's, it's like, my gosh. Like, take off the purple colored sunglasses. I have a cousin who used to always say, I fight to win. Yo, he said, I don't care what happened to you, man. I kick you in, in your seat back. I fight to win. So you should say, everything the Ravens should, should be doing is fighting to win. Doing what it takes to win. And look, I get it. It's not like all these other great quarterbacks or good quarterbacks are winning out, winning Super Bowls like that. But we just don't have a good quarterback. We don't just have a great quarterback. We have a historically uh, um, known or historical figure in NFL lore at quarterback. And we've already, this is context, we've already wasted his rookie contract. With a smile on our face, the least we can do, the least they can do is try to make up for that, you know, foolery that went on during the first four years of his career. Regardless if he won an MVP in those first four years. Regardless if we had the best record in the league at one time. Foolery. What do you guys think? Are you guys surprised that Brandon Ayuk might end up in the AFC North, but the AFC North team might not be us? Are you surprised at that? Let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section, please, all right? But as always, this episode of The Wonderkind... Sure. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I know we get down, we have fun, and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. You don't love the comments. And before we go any further, I want to give a shout out because somebody made a donation, right? So I want to give a shout out to Wendell Gowie, right? Y'all might not know that name. That's the Kid Gowie donated $100. Do the monkey with me. No. Uh, and he didn't say anything. Just donated. Look, I just want to tell you thank you, Mr. Gowie. Uh, I already know. Everybody knows how hard it is right now to... To get money. Inflation has been killing us. But you guys are supporting this channel. You're supporting what I'm trying to build over here. And I'm I'm nothing but humbled by it. Um, thank you, God, for believing in me. Thank you, God, for investing in me. And guess what? We're going to build something great over here. We're going to build something that has 
that can that has time behind it that can last. So once again, thank you so much. If you guys have not done so, check out the Wonder King Show's Patreon. Three tiers of content, goodness, waiting for your consumption. Give it a look, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if you would like to do what the Kid Gowie uh, just did with that massive um, donation for $100, bottom of the screen, QR code. QR code to a cash app. Cash app located in the description of every video that we do. And the name of it is Money Sign, The Wonder King Show. Super easy. And once again, we're putting away for cameras, a new camera. And also a Starlink system because we're in Florida and you already know hurricanes are a normality here. All right. But once again, this is another episode of the Wonder King Show. This is your Electro signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Huh? Yeah. Finish him, daddy.